here from David vs. Goliath BJJ. In today's video, I'm going to be showing one of my favorite counters to a Kimura uh, when you aren't able to separate your opponent's hands. So if you guys want to learn a cool counter when you can't finish the Kimura, especially against big guys, then keep on watching. Okay, so when I have the Kimura, um, I'm going to leave Tim exposed for a little bit here so you guys can see me talking. Uh, but when we have the Kimura, what's really common is for guys to either uh, grab their belt, connect their hands, Maybe even grab their lapel, it just depends. But a lot of times this guy doesn't want me to separate his arm away from his body. So he's gonna look to, uh, to secure his arm to his body, again, by getting any of the previously mentioned grips, okay? So uh, one of my favorite counters when I'm having a hard time getting a Kimura, especially against a big guy, um, is to actually um, fake him out a little bit and use this as bait, okay? So when I'm in the Kimura here, Tim's grabbing onto his belt, or maybe he's holding his own hands, okay? I'm gonna look to grab either his lapel right here that's hanging out, okay, or even his own belt. Tim's belt is pretty uh, tight right now, uh, so it's hard for me to uh, grab his belt. So in this case, I'm gonna grab his lapel, and I'm gonna look to let go of my hands real quick, okay, grab his lapel, pull the slack out, okay, and then feed it to my inside hand here. Okay, so I went from Kimura grip here, okay, to feeding the lapel, all right, taking the slack out, getting a nice tight grip here. Okay, so now, even if Tim wanted to uh, let go and get out of this, he's going to have a hard time. Okay, so the reason for this is I'm looking to, to trap his, his hand to his body to now set up a choke. Okay, so one more time, I, I'm here with my Kimura grip. Okay, I'm selling this right here. I'm, I'm selling it, acting like I'm really trying to go for this Kimura. And if he gives it to me, I want to finish the Kimura. Okay, but again, a lot, of, a lot of times, big, strong guys, okay, their grips are so damn strong, I'm going to use that against him. Okay, so I'm going to turn my hand up, palm up here, I can reach through, grab that belt, okay, or if his belt's too tight, I can reach through and grab his lapel, pull the slack out and feed it to my hand. Okay, so now, again, I've secured his hand to his own body, that frees up uh, my, uh, my opposite hand now to attack the choke. Okay, so I'm going to come in here, thumb in, okay, and I'm going to keep my wrist nice and straight, I don't want my wrist to bend on this choke. I'm going to keep it nice and straight. I'm going to punch the ground here. Okay, as I go elbow down, I'm going to throw all my body weight into it. Okay, and he should be tapping before my elbow even touches the ground. So in real speed, it's going to kind of look like this. I'm in a Kimura. I'm having a hard time ripping this grip off, but I'm selling it. Boom. Now, a couple of details on this. All right, as I'm going for the Kimura, again, Tim's connecting his hands. If Tim's really savvy to this move, as I go to trap him, okay, he's going to be smart. He's going to let go with his right hand. Okay, he's going to realize his left hand is trapped here. Now he's going to try and use his right hand as defense for the choke. Okay, so a uh, good defense for Tim. He's just going to put his hand up right here and block me from getting in uh, to the choke now. Okay, so now if I go and try to put my four fingers, or sorry, my thumb in here and go for this choke, it's really hard for me to, to grab. Okay, so this move applies to... Uh, really, anytime you're going for a forearm choke and you're trying to stick your thumb in, you can't because this guy has solid defense here. Okay, so Tim's defending nicely. What I'm going to look to do now is this karate chop over his hand. Okay, I'm going to get off my knees and onto my toes. Okay, anytime my knees are on the mat, my weight's on the mat, once I take my knees off the mat, okay, that weight then transfers onto my opponent. So I want to make sure that he's bearing the weight. Okay, so I'm going to karate chop the top of his hand here. Okay, I'm just looking to really sell this right here, sell this choke, okay, and choke him over his hand. Okay, but I'm not going to try and choke him out. What I'm actually looking to do is bait him into giving me a little bit of resistance. Okay, so as I start to push down on this hand really hard, there you go, Tim, I feel Tim fighting back. Okay, and as he does, his force right, is going to be like a loaded spring, okay, and it's going to end up popping off of his neck as I let go. Okay, so again, he's defending the choke real nice. Okay, I come off my knees. I'm trying to sell this choke. I feel him defending, okay? And I'm gonna let, let my hand go. And as you guys can see, his hand just slides right by. I stick my thumb in, okay? Keep my, my wrist nice and straight. And as I drop my elbow to the ground, Tim's tapping. His left hand here again is still tied up. His right hand here was for defense. I put all my weight into it. I feel Tim resisting. I really gotta sell this choke right here, guys. If I'm not selling it, Tim's not gonna fall for it. Okay, but I really gotta put all my weight Effort and energy into it, I feel that resistance, I let go. His hand pops off, I slide back in, okay, with my thumb in as deep as I can, keeping my wrist straight, punching my elbow to the ground. 
and going for the finish. Alright guys, there you have it, one of my favorite counters uh, when you're having a hard time finishing a Kimura because the guy's too strong or he's defending. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give that like button a slap and a fist bump. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I post videos once a week on how to survive and thrive against the biggest guys in your gym. So again, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you stay in the loop show if you don't miss out on weekly videos. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video. I'm not the biggest guy in the gym, okay? I lost a lot of weight. I'm just bigger than Brandon, that's why he uses me. Just saying.